हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट लॉज ऑफ लॉजिक प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री एंड फोर वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट लॉज ऑफ लॉजिक एंड वी डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एंड टू नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन लेट अस डिस्कस थ्री एंड फोर अगेन द प्रोसीजर इज सेम यू जस्ट नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस फॉर्मूला टू गेट द रिजल्ट हियर वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर टोटोलॉजी सो वॉट इज द कंडीशन फॉर टोटोलॉजी इट शुड बी ट्रू स्टेटमेंट दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन बाई यूजिंग ट्रूथ टेबल दिस इज वन मोर मेथड सो इफ इट इज मैंशन इन द एग्जाम laws of logic then you have to go with this method if it is not given you can go ahead with the uh, truth table method so let us move on and discuss the problem number 3 so this is my first problem first of all your first step should be whenever we, we get a problem first of all check whether there is a implication or not if there is implication always replace with the p implies q with the negation p or q so this is your first step always check whether there is implication in the problem or not or you can say double implication is also allowed that is p double implies q so if p double implies q what is the formula negation of p or q and negation of q or p so always check implication or double implication that is equal equivalence whether they are they, uh, they are um, present in the problem or not so whenever we get that first of all your step number 1 will be to replace implication with negation p or q so let us replace this and if you observe this problem both the problems are exactly same not exactly same they are similar problem so i'll solve problem number 3 for you and i'll recommend problem number solve you try by yourself so let us move on first of all let us replace this p implies q is what negation of the first term or second term negation of the first term or second term so this will be negation of p or q implies q so we solved this particular implication now this is the uh, next implication that we need to solve again the logic will remain same so what is the formula negation of the first term or second term so here the first term will be this because this entire implication is this actually there should be a bracket we solved this particular implication now this entire bracket is implying to this so that means this will be my first term and this is my second term so negation of the first term so this is p and negation of p or q since it is implies therefore or second term that is q what next let us simplify this negation first let's take negation inside i am not writing down the uh, rules that i am using here i'll just explain you in because i don't have uh, that much place to write so in the exam you have to write it if i'll open the bracket so this will be negation of p this and will become or and this negation will be with this particular bracket negation of p and will become or and negation will be with this particular bracket sorry i forgot to write negation p what next let's take this negation inside so this is negation p or if you take this negation inside this will become negation of negation p that is what double negation so negation of negation p means what p this negation will goes inside and this and, or will become and and this will become negation q so this will be in one bracket or q what next now inside this bracket if you observe this is or and this is and that means the sign is different so either absorption law or distributive law but if you observe all the terms are different therefore we'll go ahead with the distributive law if two terms are same then we'll go with the absorption law since all the terms are different we're going to apply distributive law please write it down distributive law here so this will be negation of p or p this sign in between negation of p or negation of q and finally we have q here what next negation of p or p so what is that value it is or when it will be false if both are false but obviously if one is false the other is true that means this value will be true so this is true and negation of p or negation of q or q and obviously whatever will be the value of this particular expression that will be your result because 
for and to be true both should be true so if it is true then it is true the uh, the statement is true if it is false the statement is false that means this will be equal to negation of p or negation of q and all the rules are written here so please refer it properly negate or, or q what next now we can apply associative law since all the signs are same see here since the signs are same we can apply associative law and we can take these two terms together because see the signs are same so you can take these two terms together negation of q or q so negation of p or what do you mean by negation of q or q both are of opposite sign that means it has to be true because or to be false both has to be false so it has to be true and negation of p or true obviously obviously it has to be false obviously it has to be true why true because it is or and when or is false if both are false this is true so it has to be true see this is the law we are talking about that is domination law so since the statement has true value therefore it is tautology now if you see this example this is exactly similar with a uh, few more extra negations you can manage still i'm solving for you but i highly recommend you pause this video try to solve the problem by yourself and you can verify your result so let us move on which is equal to first of all i'll follow the same step first of all we'll solve this particular implication so this will be negation of q or negation of the first term or second term so this will be in bracket implies negation of p what next let's solve this particular implication for solving this i'm going to consider this as one term and this is my second term so that means negation of the first term so it has to be negation of this particular bracket or second term second term is already negation p so i'm going to write it down as it is what next let's take this negation inside so this will become q because negation of negation q that is double negation will cancel each other this will be q this and will become or negation of negation of p or q or negation of p what next we going to apply this uh, we can apply here uh, we need to further simplify this so this negation will go inside we need to simplify it so this is q or if it goes inside this will become negation of negation that is p this or will become and this is negation of q and this is in one bracket or negation of p what next we can apply distributive law here because the signs are different and all the terms are different so therefore it will be q or p this sign in between and q or negation of q or negation of p what next q or negation of q is what true because or to be false both has to be false if one is false the other has to be true because it's a complement so in short q or p and true or negation p so what is this expression its value depends upon this if it is true the answer is true if it is false the answer is false therefore the answer will be q or p or negation p again since the sign is same both are or you can apply associative law so we can take these two terms in one bracket exactly same steps what about this p or negation of p it has to be true because or to be false both has to be false one is true other is false therefore it's true and q or true will be true because for or to be false both should be false if one is true the answer is true our aim is to prove it is a tautology and we proved it successfully i hope uh, you are getting how to implement these laws if you are still uh, not comfortable don't worry we'll be solving few more examples on that thank you for watching this video we're done with it take care